step one, we were gonna make the bottom. To make this one piece reversible swimsuit, let's begin with the bottom part. Here's the front piece. We're gonna cut one on fabric one, one on fabric two for the back as this pattern has a center seam. There are two pieces of fabric number one and two pieces of fabric number two. First step is to place both bags right sides together of the same color and sew along the center back. We will do the same with the other color. Now let's take the front and back piece and place them right sides together. We're going to sew at the crotch with color number one and with color number two. Fabric one front and fabric one back. Join them along the bottom part. Remember to watch my other videos about how to sew swimsuits with a regular sewing machine if you don't have a serger or an overlock. Now we are going to join the pieces in the leg area, right sides together, fabric number one with fabric number two. You can sew with an overlock or a small zigzag stitch. I always like to place pins, especially in the seams. Now you need to sew the elastics in the leg area where you just finished sewing. Start a quarter of an inch away from the edge or six millimeters and sew along the edge without stretching. Also you have to stop sewing at the end a quarter of an inch before and repeat the process with the other leg. Do the same in the neckline, this opening in the abdomen area and remember to pin it, in pin it in place. First sew using a, an overlock or zigzag stitch and then apply the elastics with the same process. Always stop a quarter of an inch or six millimeter before and on the other side stop at the same measurement. The last step before starting the top is to turn the garment inside out. I have already sewn the elastics on both neck lines. And now we will sew the sides of the swimsuit. This is the back piece. Now let's turn the front piece so the right side of the front is facing the right side of the back of the same color. Pin it in place at the beginning, at the seams, and at the other side. Step number two, we're going to make the top. 
to sew the reversible top we were cut from nylon spandex the bust piece twice as it has a tie on the front we will do this from fabric A and fabric D the back is made of a single piece and we, we, oh, we will also cut one piece on fabric A and one in fabric B we will need a quarter of an inch elastic or six millimeters this is very important because the elastic is going to give stability to the piece first we're going to sew the darts in this case we have four darts two of fabric A and two of fabric B let's arrange the pieces with right sides together sew them using an overlock or a zigzag stitch I'm going to make the whole top using an overlock but as you know you can always sew it using a regular sewing machine with zigzag now we will sew the shoulders we will join the back on the shoulders with the front pieces of color one and then we will repeat the process with the other fabric sewing in the four shoulders now we open the shoulders and place them front and back of one color right sides together we will sew along the armhole using an overlock or a small zigzag stitch and we will do the same along the neckline the next step will be to attach the elastics instead of starting the elastics at the beginning we will look for the notch in the pattern and we will start from that mark we are doing this because having elastic in the knot area it's going to be uncomfortable so that is why we leave that part without elastic when attaching the elastics we will not stretch them you can sew them using an overlock or a zigzag stitch make sure to sew all around the edge and stop on the other dot along the neckline we will do the same thing but we're going to start six millimeters or a quarter of an inch away from the edge and do the same thing on the other end stop a quarter of an inch before When attaching the elastics, remember to not stretch it. Once we have placed the elastics, remember to stop at the bow tie area now we're going to turn the top inside out This is how the piece looks after we turn it now we only need to join the sides and finish the bottom area first we're going to open the front and back pieces and join them right sides together I place three pins one in the seam in the center one in the beginning and one on the end then we repeat this process on the other side but leaving an opening of two inches or five centimeters 
One side is completely closed, the other one with a two inch opening. This is how the sides look once they are sewn. On one side we left an opening and the other one is completely closed. Here we can see the top of the swimsuit is sewn. Now we're going to join the top with the bottom. Because we have not completely closed the bottom edge of the top, now it's easier to join right sides together, matching the side seams of the top and the side seams of the bottom. Remember to match also the same color, orange with orange in my case. Now we're going to sew once more using a small zigzag stitch or an overlock. This will make the next step a lot easier for us. Look for the other side seam, join top and bottom. Make sure to place a pin on the seam. Here we have already joined the pieces, however we still have to make the finishes on the bottom part of our top, that's why we left a little opening on one of the sides. We have to roll the bottom piece and the straps. We're doing that so it doesn't take much space. Now we join edge with edge, place a pin on the side seams and do the same thing on the other side. After you have sewn along the bottom using a zigzag or an overlock, we're going to attach the elastics. We will do it just like we did with the top part on the neckline. Remember to start before the dot and finish on the other dot. Leave the knot area without elastic. Now we have already closed and attached the elastics on the of the bottom. We have already sewn the bottom part. Remember that the rest of the swimsuits is inside. Look for the opening we left on the side seam and turn the swimsuit inside out. of the top part. Just close it with a tiny zigzag stitch along the edge. Here is the finished swimsuit. It is completely reversible. Remember this and many other patterns are available in my online stores in sirenapattern.com. The link is in the description. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe.